Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well, William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. I just finished recording uh, an update for the React Native Declarative Gestures and Animations course, and I wanted to share with you where we are in terms of the curriculum now, and also in terms of the examples we are building in the course. I launched this course end of August, and the reception has been great. I cannot thank you enough for your support. It means a lot that you have been so much to subscribe to this course and that thanks to your support, I get to work on these super exciting examples and demos. And I also get to have the time to really dig in in some of the examples and fine tunings uh, some of the things. And lately in the course, we've uh, been looking at uh, SVG animations. So simple uh, animations of SVG shapes. And this also involves some uh, notions of trigonometries, which we are looking at. And we are using trigonometry to implement things such as this nice circular slider, which has also some color interpolations. If the grip on trigonometry is strong, such uh, circular sliders are fairly easy to, to implement. And then we start looking into an extremely powerful tool, which are Bezier curves. And we're going to use Bezier curves uh, along in this curriculum to do different things. And in this example, we just look at the theory of uh, Bezier curves by animating animating a single Bezier curves. So we have a start point at the bottom left, end point at the top right, and we have control point one, which is this uh, green point which we move around here, and the second control point. So once we harness animation of Bezier curves such as this one, we can use these notions to animate sequences of Bezier curves, such as in this example taken from uh, the Kuberto Agency. So the Kuberto Agency is putting, building these incredible examples. Some of, some of them are uh, done in open source and they implement it in Swift UI and they give us the different Bezier curves we can use to interpolate from the happy face normal face and angry face. There is also a new lesson which I'm really excited about, about the pinch gesture. And this lesson is exciting for two reasons. If you are looking to implement a pinch transformation or rotate um, something with the rotate gesture handler, you are in for a treat because here we really dig in into uh, how to build such uh, complex gestures and animations. But if you don't plan to do anything with the pin gesture handler or the rotate gesture handler, the notions we are looking at in this uh, lesson are extremely useful. We are looking at vectors, we are looking at accumulating complex transformations, and also having, you see, different gesture handlers working together. So here I'm using the pan gesture handler and I can pinch. So we have uh, different gesture handlers um, working well together. And we also you see uh, set some boundaries to the transformations. So it's an extremely uh, cool example. And we look at really interesting notions in order to uh, implement such an example. Before the lessons on SVG, we also implemented a couple of interesting examples, such as this one, the dynamic spring. So we use a pan gesture handler to move the card around and the position of the cards behind are the position of the card we are moving, but using a spring animation. So it creates this nice effect of inertia I could play with it for hours. And we have also this drag to sort example, which is also somewhat related. So we can move 
of these cards around. And the way uh, this example is implemented is very interesting because it's actually a very simple implementation. We decouple this user interaction into two pieces. We move a card, so each card is positioned using an offset value. So here, the first one offset value is zero. Here, it's uh, height of the first card, uh, height of the first card times two. When we move the card, we know the position that has changed and we swap the offsets. So the offset values of each card are changed. And then instead of just swapping the value, I mean, we swap the values, but instead of showing the swapped values, so it will automatically move from one position to the other, we just nicely transition from the original position to the new one. And that creates this nice effect. So a very actually simple implementation because we nicely decoupled uh, such a user interaction into two uh, digestible parts. Dragging the thing around that swaps offsets of the cards and then building the animation for the cards to transition from one position to the other. And so we look at the basic uh, animations. So there are three basic animations in reanimated spring, decay. So we have this nice decay, pan gesture handler. It's the most important uh, gesture to learn in React Native. So here we just build a, a very simple example. We have some disc diff clamps on the boundaries. So the timing function which is uh, important to harness. So here we can pause at any point and resume. So in reanimated, there is a notion of clock to deal with animations across time. And here we build this example where we can pause and resume the animation at any time to really make sure that we have a strong grip on the notion of clocks and really understanding how clocks work uh, is going to enable us to build really cool examples and also to do things to make gestures interruptible. So you see here I'm catching, for instance, so it springs back, but I can catch it before it animates back to the original position. And because we have a strong grip on the notion of clock, we can easily make the gesture inter interruptible. And this is going to come a long way to make uh, your um, user experience uh, really uh, looking great. And then before we do these things, the simplest way to animate things in React Native, even if you don't know anything about animations, is to use uh, transitions. So we spend a bit of time to um, talk about transitions. And if you are a subscriber of the channel, you already know that we can add transitions to animation values or to state uh, of a React component. And so we can attach uh, transitions to different states and it will animate nicely from one state to the other. So here we use the use transition hook. And if you have changes in the layout, you can use the transition API from reanimated even though it only works for a couple of properties and the support is quite different on Android and iOS. But for some small examples, uh, it, might be, it might be more than enough. Uh, typically, for instance, if you want to shuffle uh, uh, children views, this will work great, I think, on Android and iOS. So yeah, that's where we are currently in, uh, in the React Native course. Next, we're going to use our knowledge of Bezier curves to implement interactable uh, D-free graphs. So I'm really looking forward to that. And we are really also looking at uh, new notions such as, for instance, uh, color interpolations. If you are not a subscriber of the online course, don't worry. I have a great backlog of content for the YouTube channel. So I'm really looking forward to talk to you soon. I have some great stuff uh, planned out for the channel. So yeah, talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.